May is known as Water Safety Awareness Month, but one mom and a state lawmaker are looking to take things a step further. Michelle Zieg and Representative Wendell Gilliard want to make swimming lessons a requirement for children in school. For Zieg, the mission of water safety is personal. She lost her 17-month-old son three years ago in a drowning that she says was preventable. We did not have an alarm on the door. We did not have a gate around the pool. Um, it was unprotected and there was complete access. And I know that that is a mistake that I'll never forgive myself for, but that's why I'm here to tell people what those mistakes are so that they don't repeat it. Well, Zig works in Charleston promoting water safety through a company in remembrance of her son, Braden. Well, well, a House resolution declares May as Water Safety Awareness Month. And there was a news conference at the State House this afternoon, and the focus was to raise awareness to the reality of children drowning. Brandy Cummings joins us now with more on the effort. Brandy? Well, Dondi and Judy, Representative Wendell Gilliard of Charleston is the mastermind behind this push for more water safety legislation. His idea? Simple. Save lives by teaching children how to be safe in the water. The statistics are staggering. Drowning is the second leading cause of accidental death for children ages 5 to 14. I felt we had to do something as to offset the increase of drownings in the state of South Carolina. On the State House steps, Charleston Representative Wendell Gilliard announced a resolution passed the House designating May Water Safety Awareness Month. The motivation behind his push is personal. Representative Gilliard's friend lost a daughter to drowning. Now he wants lessons in schools. To encourage public school districts of the state to provide at least one hour of instructions on water safety during this month. Another person fully supporting the representative's proposal is Michelle Zig. She hopes the pending legislation will pass. The idea of having um, water safety being taught in our elementary schools, it would be, it would be a dream. Zig is an advocate for water safety. She started the group because of Braden after the drowning of her son three years ago. Um, drowning does not appear as it does in Hollywood movies. It is silent. There is no splashing. There's no big drama. It is quick and it is silent. Michelle Zig has a very compelling story to share with other parents. You can hear details of what happened to her son and how she says you can protect your kids. All of that coming up tonight at 7 o'clock. In the studio, Brandi Cummings, WIS News 10.